We'll know how to enable our builds as CI and our releases as CD. No big deal there. However, sometimes it's necessary or at least helpful having the pipelines executing at specific intervals or defined times or anyway in a scheduled manner. Let's see how we can do that with Azure Pipelines Schedule Trigger. Hi everybody and welcome back to Code Today. This is the second video in the Azure Pipeline Trigger series. In the previous video, we have seen how to kick off our builds and releases whenever a new container image is pushed to a container registry. You can find the link up here if you've missed it. Today instead, we are going quite in a different direction because we are going to talk on how we can schedule the execution of our pipelines using the schedule trigger. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Just click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos in this series. Once again, I'll focus first on the classic pipelines, the ones from the UI, and then about the multi-stage YAML pipelines. But stay with me until the end because the behavior of those two is quite different. And finally, I'm going to show you how to check when your scheduled pipelines will run next. Right, let's dive into it. Let's start with the classic build. So set a scheduled trigger, just go to the trigger section, and you have here the scheduled part. Here you can select the days and times when you want to run the build. And you can also make the scheduled pipeline run only if either the source code or the pipeline has changed between the previous execution and the scheduled one. If your repository is Azure Repos Git, GitHub, or any other Git, then you can also specify some branches to be included or excluded from the build. And you can use wide characters for it. Just type the branch specification, for example, features slash module slash star, and then press enter. And you can add, of course, more than one schedule, selecting the days of the week, the time, and importantly, the time zone. This is basically it for the classic builds. Let's talk about the classic release pipelines now. This time, we will not use the trigger section, but instead this schedule set button over here. When you click on it, you have a very similar interface in which you can edit your schedule settings or, of course, add a new one. And as before, you can decide if you want to run this release only if the source or the pipeline has changed in between executions. And of course, if you don't want the schedule anymore, you can always remove it. As you have seen, scheduling builds and release using the classic editor is very straightforward and pretty intuitive. Before we move to the YAML pipelines, hit the like button below if you think this video provides value to you or you find it insightful. All right, let's see now how to achieve the same for the multi-stage YAML pipelines. And there are actually two ways to do so. First is using the settings UI, and the second one is using YAML directly. But we need to be careful here because scheduled trigger set in the settings UI actually take precedence over the YAML ones. If your YAML pipeline has both YAML schedule trigger and UI defined schedule trigger, only the UI ones will run. To be able to run the YAML ones, you will need to remove all the triggers that you can define in the settings UI. Let's take a look at how to set the schedule trigger from the settings UI first. In editing mode, like you can see here, just go on the ellipses over here and triggers. And once again, over here, you have the schedule section in which you can add a new schedule. The interface is basically the same with the only difference that here you have this notice which contains the same information I was mentioning before that these triggers actually override the one defined in YAML. One thing I didn't mention before is that the time is expressed in 24 hours. So it goes all the way from zero to 23, which means that this pipeline here will run every 4 a.m. Monday through Friday in the UTC plus 8 time zone. Easy, right? Identical to the classic pipelines, but with the inconvenient of the override. Let's talk about YAML now. If you want to run your pipeline by only using scheduled triggers, you must disable PR and continuous integration triggers. In this case, I only have the CI trigger, so just change this to known. Next, we need to add the schedules, and those go directly under the triggers. In this case, I have two schedules, one and two. And as you can see, the trigger use the cron syntax. If you're not familiar with the cron syntax, here you have something for your reference. 
It's basically a numerical way to express time and dates for scheduling purposes. It starts with minutes, then hours, days, months, and days of weeks. And for each field, apart from the values you can see here, you can also use wildcards like star to match every possible value, or you can use intervals. Let's analyze the two schedules I have here. By the current syntax, this schedule will run every day at midnight. Please note that when you express the time directly in the YAML in the current syntax, this is expressed in the UTC time zone. You cannot choose a different time zone. So in this example, this will run at midnight at UTC time zone, and it will include code on either the master branch or any branch under the release folder, but it will exclude all the releases slash old content. It is very important to notice here that the include is necessary. If you do this in the UI, you do not have to specify include or exclude because if you don't do it, the engine will include automatically the whole content of your repository. But for the YAML pipeline, when you define the schedule trigger in the YAML, you have to do so. If you don't do so, you will have an error. And then the exclude part is optional. In fact, if you take a look at the second schedule I have, I do have the include part, but I don't have any exclude part. And in this cron example, we have the range. This will make the definition run every six hours. If you remember what we've seen before in the UI, we had an option to execute the build or the release only if either code or pipeline changed between executions. And by default, that was not checked. In the YAML, the behavior is the opposite. That is basically enabled by default. If you want your execution to run every single time, regardless if something changed, then you have to explicitly declare it here using always column true. This will make this execution run no matter what at every six hours. This is super flexible, way more flexible than the UI defined ones. Keep in mind that there are certain limitations on how often you can actually schedule your pipelines to run and those are put in place to prevent the misuse of the Azure Pipeline resources. At the time of recording this video, those limits are about 1,000 executions per pipeline per week. Before we close, let's see how we can check the next scheduled runs for our pipelines. From the pipeline summary page, just click on the scheduled pipeline you want to check, go on the ellipses, and select scheduled runs. In this page, you can see the next few runs of the pipeline for this specific week. Since I'm recording this on a Wednesday and this pipeline is scheduled Monday to Friday, I only see two, one for tomorrow, Thursday, and one in two days, Friday. And of course, I can also see the time it's scheduled and the branch or branches that will be included into the execution. All right, that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you use or plan to use the schedule pipelines for. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you aren't already, and I see you at the next video here at Coder Dave.